All right, what's up, guys? My name's Jaden Ballard. I run the Core Freshies page. I'm out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. The important thing to go over today is bar setup. This year, I teamed up with Kyber One. They're a small company out of Canada, and they're making incredible parts. I am absolutely stoked to use them this year, and so far, they've handled all the beating that I threw at them. So, first off, we'll start with the bars. I'm running the 730 millimeter small diameter grip bars. It's about 28 and three quarter inches long, whereas the stock handlebars are a full 30 inches long. So you're losing about inch and a half um, on your on your total width, which is beneficial for for riding trees. The smaller diameter is awesome for being able to hold on a little bit tighter, especially with all the power this machine makes. In years past, I've ran a little bit thicker bars. And I can already tell you that this thing's a much easier to hang on to. This year I'm running the attack grips. Um, so far they've been absolutely awesome. They don't spin. Um, Eli over at Kyber One, he sends off awesome directions on how to put them on. I haven't had any issues. Every other aftermarket bar grip that I've ran has always spun on me on the first or second ride. The next thing in line is the brake handle. Um, the new Lynx does come with an adjustable brake lever that a lot of people are stoked about but I felt like it didn't have enough adjustment. It felt like no matter how tight I got it, I could always pinch my finger with it. The Kyber One brake handle is awesome. It fits two fingers awesome, but also I'm a one finger, pointer finger kind of guy, so um, it works great for me and it never really gets hit by branches or anything and stops you. Um, the next thing I went with is the brake reservoir cover. Lynx also came out with a OEM brake reservoir cover, but it seemed pretty pretty thin. The brake reservoir itself is the mount to the handlebar. So if that breaks, you're kind of you're kind of stranded on the mountain without brakes. This year, a lot of people have asked me about the mountain bar, why I'm choosing to run it. I find that it's pretty handy when you are, you know, right in the backcountry, you tip over, you roll over, you do a whip, you land on your side panel, whatever, and you need to pick up the snowmobile. <laughs> Having that is a game changer. I will never, ever, choose to ride like this. That's just not what it's made for. Um, but having it there to pick the snowmobile up when this handlebar or this side of the handlebar is buried because you're on your side is super handy. As soon as we transition into spring riding and hitting jumps, I will definitely be taking this off and putting the bar pad on. I do have that as well. Another product from Kyber One that I'm stoked about this season is the T-Post switch adapter. I can't tell you how many times in the past that I have have had my um, kill switch on the bars, you know, no matter what angle you put it at, you either hit it with your shoulder, you hit it on a branch or, or you know, your knee, whatever. Um, having it here, I have yet to hit it, so that's great. But on the other side, I also have the shot start down there. It's nice having a little peace of mind from not having it right here by your thumb. Although it's ideal having it by your thumb, um, it's safer down here. I, <laughs> if you watch my videos, you probably notice a lot of times that this brake reservoir has has bark hanging off of it or, or tree branches or whatever. So as far as not ripping this off ever, it's nice having it down here. Oftentimes people ask why I even choose to go with an aftermarket bar. And a big part of that reason is strength. Every single stock bar that I've ever ran, I've bent. Um, whether it be on my leg when I roll it over, um, whether it be on hard pack snow, it, yeah, I've, I've been every stock bar that I've ran. That's a huge contributor to me switching to aftermarket bars. Another important thing to go over is bar height. I don't need to beat this one because I'm sure you've heard it, but a little bend in your knees and straight arms is perfect. For me, the three inch riser is absolutely phenomenal. Um, this is a 75 millimeter riser. It's about 2.95 inches um, for the US guys. And for me, it's perfect. I'm five foot nine, so you can base your bar height off of that. Well, that about wraps it up. I've got about 225 miles on this bar setup and I couldn't be happier. So far, everything's holding out very nice. Everything looks very clean and I am excited to continue my relationship with Kyber One.